Hello everyone, Counter Search is back. Another episode of Shrink Eye. Last we left off in the forest and we retrieved the tool bag. This one right here. So now we are going to go return it back to him. I figured it'd be easier to walk through the forest by myself before starting the episode so that we won't have to deal with random encounters. <clears throat> I'm, I think I'm messing with him. Alright, well. Screw you. I could take down lions all day if I want. Anyways, hmm. I'm thinking. I did just save right now. Let's. Hmm. Let's open up the episode with a mini boss fight trigger. I figured why not. Maybe we're levels for it, maybe we're not. I do remember going over this earlier. Alright, so one ran away. This looks like it's going to be easier than I thought. Maybe I over-anticipated it. Well, it's a good thing I'm doing it now and not waiting till like, we're super buff. We can use the XP right now. On second thought, Keon's about to die. Okay. Alright, there we go. Quit fighting me! I think it has 1 HP. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Alright, now, we gotta beat this thing up. For it. Yeah, why not? This ought to do the trick. There we go. Alright, we got a lottery ticket. And that is our reward. And a pair of one shoes. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Alright, well, first things first. Let's Heal Chagenda real quick. We have 10 Yakasoba bread. You deserve one. Alright, and let's see, three lottery tickets. That's good, because we think, I think in this episode, we'll be going to the lottery house. As of right now, let's see. I think I'll give it to Keon. Plus one defense and plus one agility. For you, my good sir. Okay. That, uh, they're pretty similar, except for Spirit, because Kajinda has that, uh, armband. Okay. What a way to open an episode, huh, with a mini-boss fight. Now, the reason why I'm going over here is because I think we visited this house earlier, but now we're actually going to be able to do something in it. In this house... There should, I say should, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna pull the plug and empty the tub. And now there's a shiny thingy. The silver coin. We go over here and look at it, right here. It is a very expensive item, so good to sell, but we're not going to be selling it. That is not what we're going to be do, uh, doing with it. Its effect says it's unknown, but in this episode, hopefully I will explain, I will get the chance to explain what it does. If not, I'll do it probably at the end of this episode or the next one. But now, I feel like we need to go return the tool bag to the old man.
Well, that worked. Alright, good job for delaying the inevitable. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. Now we can go over here and get in the boat. All right. I gotta admit, we only use the boat for like a very small portion of the game and that's pretty much it, but the music for it is actually really cool. I wish we got to hear it more often. Anyways, potato. I, I don't think potatoes do anything, but let me check just in case. Um, yeah, no, it's either a synthesis recipe or synthesis recipe or a selling item. Sorry about that. And yes, apparently you can rest here. I almost forgot about it myself so I clicked on it. Good thing too. Needed that. Uh, what else you got, old man? Alright, we'll talk to you now. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna get ourselves a fishing rod and go fishing. Okay, I think that creates a toxin, which is a very powerful thing to have. Not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. Anyways. The fishing rod. Yes, now we get to go fishing. Wow, look at that yen count. We almost have 3,000. When we hit 3,000, we're going to want to finish, uh, we're going to want to go to the dojo again. So that the guy can teach us the ways of dual wielding. Anyways, now that we have the fishing rod, now we just need a good fishing spot, just like it said. Alright. How fortunate for us, we have this boat. Now, if I remember correctly, you can't go... Yeah, this is as far as it goes. And also, one more thing. No random encounters in the water. I know, but believe it or not, there is none. You'll, you'll get off scot-free, I promise. It's going to be a very relaxing and enjoyable ride in the water. And the music changed because we changed scenes. <sighs> very well then. It's a mini chest, we can't get there yet. We are not tiny enough to... Um, get there. There's a safe spot, which we are going to want to do. And now we can open this door so that we can save here for other spots. Alright, you see this fish in the water? That's the fish I want to catch, and I'm going to cast my lure right here. Yeah, Keon's not too sure about this, but he's just going to have to trust us. We need to go fishing. <clears throat> well then. Yes, I will. And now, we just wait for the fish to decide to come to us. In the fullness of time. Fish, I don't have all day. I think it makes like a retarded circle, so I must. I should have timed that a little bit better, but here it comes. Excellent! We now have the bronze key. And I, uh. Yeah, I'm done for Right, that's pretty much the extent of the fishing rod's use. Now, we have two new things. 
the fish, possible party member might love this, and a bronze key. Now we can go to all the bronze key locations within the school area and whatnot. However, since we are still in the boat, oh, actually, hold on, let me save. Okay. The careful nature within me tells me to save. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. And in this chest is a copy of Nothingness, Volume the Fifth. Alright, I guess Trujinja's not gonna talk about it, so I will. Equipping this will allow resurrection. So basically, it's it's a revive. If one of your allies goes down, you don't have enough time to heal him, bam. You got soul recovery right here. Now, as far as SP goes, it is pretty expensive. So, um, just use it wisely at this point of the game. You'll get more SP later and everything, so it won't be as costly, but still, it's, it's one of the more expensive books to use. Um, I'm still going to finish learn, learning Curing, and then probably after that I'll learn Soul Recovery, because that's actually very important. Now in here... Welcome. This is the lottery house that we could go to, and we can gamble away our lottery tickets that we have. All three of them? Yeah, shoot. Well... Now that we're at the Lottery House, I do want to talk about why we got the Silver Coin. The Silver Coin is going to allow the slot machine to slow down just a little bit. Just enough to where it's a little bit easy for us uh, to get what we want. Speaking of what we want, here's the price list. Three Diamonds is going to get us more Lottery Tickets. Three Stars are going to get us Red Feather. Our Three Horseshoes is um, the Hood Thingy. Which I will explain if we get it. It's a headgear item. Dollar signs, the drink set, which is actually really, really helpful. Like, basically, I mean, it's not a, it's not the best. Well, okay. Basically, if you're good at the lottery machine, which trust me, if, if you do it enough, you will get really good. This is a great way to grind through the game instead of like battling random encounter after random encounter. Just go to Lotto House, take all your tickets to get the drink sets. It's going to get you all sorts of vitamins that will boost all, almost all of your stats. I say almost all, but unfortunately, it, um, the drink set doesn't supplement every single stat. Unfortunately. But, honestly, it, it buffs the important ones. Attack, Defense, SP, and HP. Those are the ones that it'll buff. So, pretty good. Um, Blast Cannon really good item in my opinion the blast cannon is the second powerful what the second most powerful weapon in the game as of right now like as far as obtaining and the three sevens question 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 mark that would be the most powerful item that we can get in the game so let's get to it Alright, so the question is, is that should I go for the diamonds to get more tickets, or should I go just straight for the sevens? I haven't done this in a little while, so let's see how fast this goes. Alright. And no, I messed up. Trust me, you're going to want to get the silver coin for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, three. Oh, shoot. Alright, well, you know what? I'm probably not going to do it in this part, but I would, if I were you, I would get, like, I would get a bookmark or something like that and just save this in this spot right here in this Try your luck in getting it because, you know, a uh, lot of your tickets right now are kind of scarce. The only way you can get them is like defeating certain bosses or beating up gang members in the street, basically. So I only have three. 
but later on in the game, there are ways to like get more of them. So that's gonna be useful. All right, let's do. Let's just go straight for the seven. Seven, 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 seven. Oh no, I missed it. All right, well, we're gonna have to come back. Probably in the next episode, I'll show y'all. I'll show you all the stuff you could get, or the important stuff at least. But as of right now, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. We got a lot done. And in the next part, we are going to be exploring the school area with the bronze key. I'm going to showcase my new items that I get at the lottery ticket after I spend like three hours on it. I'm just kidding. It's not going to take that long. But, and then we're going to do other stuff. So thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you then.